Hello and welcome back again to High Desert Home and Garden. Um, today we're going to slap the mower deck up under the GT5000 Craftsman. And uh, we already went to the barn and picked it up. You can see these blades are pretty, uh, pretty chewed off already. I put an edge on them last fall when I put the thing away. But uh, yeah, such is life here when you're mowing uh, Nevada weeds. The blades don't last any time at all. They were new... Oh, when did I put those on there? Like last July? And you know, I'm hoping they'll make it until they move out of here. Or get rid of this thing and then it'll be gone. And somebody else can put blades on it. <clears throat> anyway. Um, you know, the belt's not in the greatest of shape either. But uh, I'm on the fix it as needed plan rather than doing a whole bunch of maintenance work on the thing right now. So, uh, yeah, let me get that unloaded, and we'll get the little wagon off and get the mower deck on. See you in a bit. So, uh, my little helper here is being kind of loud, but anyway, uh, we got the deck unloaded. Got the belt routed the right way. Greased all of the blade mandrels. Um, so we're pretty much ready to slide it underneath and get it hung on there. Um, you notice I got some more chalked and jacked up just because it makes it easier to get it in and out. Um, pretty easy stuff coming up here. So it's uh, under and in position. I gotta get some more hardware tools together and be back in a minute. Alright, so next up we need to take this nut off right here. And then you can see this uh, hair clip over here. We gotta take it off. And then this piece, which as you can see, they're marked right hand and left hand. They're pretty. Uh, Pretty important for that to work out right, or otherwise it won't lift the deck. <coughs> but anyway, let me uh, get these things put on, get this one put on, and we'll show you the finished product here. Alright, so we got our rear lift point hooked up, we've got our nut on, and our front lift point. So this thing is just supposed to pick this up straight and level, nice and neat like. Um, it's important to count how many turns you put that on, but I forgot, so... Now we'll have to figure out, make sure it's level. So, same deal on the other side. Uh, we've got a pin there. There's another place for a pin back here. And our nut in the middle. Take the nut off. pin out and then slide it over the bolt. Okay, so those are both on. Put our cutter pins in so the T 
piece of the lift bracket doesn't fall off. Not on. You're the helper? Yep. Well, you're not doing much helping. Hmm. This one's going to be a little bit stubborn. It fits, but it fits, trust me. So we've got our sockets that we need. Well, I said we had our socket that we need. I guess we don't. And alright, now hopefully we got the socket we need. I just lost it under the deck. Okay. up until it touches and call that good. to have about the same amount of slack in it so we'll be good there. Um, I did let the uh, deck height adjustment down all the way so to bring it back up to where I actually try and cut. We'll have tension against those nuts and they shouldn't come loose. on that. Now our next step is going to be putting the belt on. Be quiet please. Hopefully that's not going to be too much glare. But anyway, the belt's already routed correctly on the deck so all we got to do is slip it over this pulley right here which is your PTO clutch. So it's over the pulley and then next thing we gotta do is this rod right here is actually your tensioner so it just goes in there like that um, it gives a warning for uh, spring-loaded tension, spring tension on that rod, but it's not really that bad. And, let's see, this isn't last or least, but it has this rod right here that kind of helps hold the back of the deck up. So I need to get a cotter pin for that and then got to put the front support on also. We'll be ready here in a minute. Alright, so we've got our little rear bar hooked up. We've got our belt on. We've got our little crossbars on. Uh, we've got the front support on and pinned. So uh, this thing's pretty much ready to go other than checking tire pressures and the mower itself and greasing it. Which is pretty simple. You've got uh, 
the fitting on each front wheel and your spindles here. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, there we go. So you've got your spindles and then on each, uh, yeah, like I was saying, on each front wheel for the so-called wheel bearings They're on the inside. Anyway, um, yeah. right back in here, you can see it there. So i got to get it greased and then we should be ready to start mowing. Anyway, if uh, you like the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you don't, hit the dislike button and uh, I'll accept that too. Either way, thanks for watching and uh, we'll get back to you later. Thanks. Bye.